Dr. Pankanya, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. Now, the UK government says that almost 75% of cases here are of the so-called Indian variant. Now, what exactly is this and why is it being perceived as being more dangerous? So I wouldn't want to call it dangerous, but it is more infectious. And in the natural evolutionary history of viruses, there always emerges one that outcompetes the other. It's a bit like we get a sprint runner, somebody comes from somewhere and they leave the field standing. So similarly here, the mutations from the variant that has arisen from India appear to be more infectious in human beings. And when we call it more infectious, it means that you need fewer numbers of the virus particles to infect you. And similarly, it also makes a very good um, fix and attachment with the receptor. So if this is the human ACE2 receptor, we have the mutated version here, 617.2, and it makes a perfect, a better fit, and therefore it is more infectious. And, and as it reproduces, there isn't a checking mechanism with the virus because it's an RNA virus. So it makes mistakes. And those mistakes in reproducing is what we call mutations. Most mistakes in its reproduction are of no consequence. They're just, um, a swapping of uh, amino acid here and there. And sometimes we have a mistake which is significant. And when that mistake is significant, it either gives the, the variant uh, uh, an advantage. And that advantage could be, for example, as we are seeing from India, more infectious. Luckily, at the moment, we are not able to say it is more disease causing, which is very good. At the same time, we determine that it is also not bypassing the vaccines, which is also good. As you just mentioned, there is a lot of talk about which vaccine works best against this variant. What are your thoughts on this, doctor? We are in the middle of a crisis, a unprecedented global crisis. And my advice to anyone anywhere in the world would be, please take the first vaccine that is offered to you. Because if it is licensed and it has gone through the scrutiny process and given the license by your government, by the World Health Organization, take it. So it is not helpful to sit there creating league tables of one vaccine is much better than the other. What we want is a vaccine that prevents you from ending up in ITU seriously ill. And it appears that all the vaccines that are on the market do achieve that end. And that's what we should be going for.